guys and welcome to the first results video of 2023 so as per usual there's only the football this weekend due to it always starting a week before the Ireland so let's jump right in so our first game is <clears throat> Monaghan versus Armagh Armagh opened the scoring with a point in the first minute uh, the teams finished the half level seven points to one four Armagh opened the second half scoring with five points eight minutes in. And the game finished Monaghan 1 12. Armagh 1 14. So a win for Armagh over Monaghan. Final score Monaghan 1 12, Armagh 1 14. Up next we have Mayo versus Galway. Galway opened the scoring with a point in the first five minutes. And Galway finished the half in the lead 1 3 to 1 5. Uh, Mayo opened the second half scoring with three points seven minutes in. And the game finished as a draw. Mayo one eleven. Galway two eight. So a draw for Mayo and Galway. Final score: Mayo one eleven, Galway two eight. Up next, we have Derry versus Limerick. Derry opened the scoring with three points in the first twelve minutes. Derry finished the half in the lead, 7 points to 2. Derry opened the second half scoring with a point, 2 minutes in. And the game finishes Derry, 16 points. Limerick, 4 points. So, massive win for Derry over Limerick. Let me just make sure it's correct because I've been... <laughs> yep, 100% correct. Big win for Derry. Final score, Derry 16 points, Limerick 4 points. Up next we have Dublin versus Kildare. Dublin opened the scoring with a point in the first minute. Dublin finished the half in the lead, 1-5 to 6 points. Dublin opened the second half scoring with 2 points, 5 minutes in. And the game finishes, Dublin 1-11. Kildare, 13 points. So a win for Dublin in their opening game. Final score, Dublin 111, Kildare 13 points. Next up we have Fermanagh versus Longford. Uh, Fermanagh opened the scoring with two points in the first three minutes. Fermanagh finished the half in the lead, 11 points to six. Longford opened the second half scoring with two points, three minutes in. And the game finished, Fermanagh 15 points. Longford 8 points. So, a win for Fermanagh. Final score, Fermanagh 15 points, Longford 8 points. Up next we have Tipperary versus Down. Down opened the scoring with three points in the first 15 minutes. Down finished the half on the lead, two points to one six. Tipperary opened the second half scoring with two points, six minutes in. And the game finishes Tipperary one eleven. 
down to 11. So a three point win for down. Final score, Tipperary 111, down 211. Up next we have Carlo versus Wicklow. Wicklow opened the scoring with a goal and a point in the first two minutes. Wicklow finished the half in the lead, 2-5 to 2-6. Wicklow opened the second half scoring with a point two minutes in. And the game finishes, Carlo 2-10. Wicklow 2-10. So a draw. And our final game on Saturday is Wexford versus London. Wexford opened the scoring with two points in the first ten minutes. Wexford finished a half from the lead, five points to two. London opened the second half scoring with a point in three minutes in. And the game finishes Wexford 1-9. London 1-9. So a draw for Wexford and London. Final score, Wexford 1-9, London 1-9. Our first game on Sunday is Roscommon versus Tyrone. Roscommon opened the scoring with two points in the first eight minutes. Roscommon finished a half in the lead, eight points to five. Tyrone opened the second half scoring with three points, three minutes in. And the game finishes Roscommon, 3-11. Tyrone one twelve. So a good win for Ross Common over Tyrone. Final score: Ross Common three eleven. Tyrone one twelve. Up next we have Donegal versus Kerry. Kerry opened the scoring with a point in the first seven minutes. Kerry finished a half in the lead, one six to six points. Donegal opened the second half score with four points, nine minutes in. Oops. And the game finishes Donegal thirteen points. Kerry 1-9. So, a good comeback for Donegal to take the win. Final score, Donegal 13 points, Kerry 1-9. So, this is how things stand in Rhine 1 after last weekend. Roscommon, Armagh and Donegal all on 2 points. Galway and Mayo on 1 point. Kerry, Monaghan and Tyrone on no points. Up next we have Cork versus Mead. Cork opened the scoring with two points in the first five minutes. Cork finished a half in the lead, eleven points to one six. Mead opened the second half scoring with Two points, three minutes in. And the game finishes Cork, 19 points. Mead, 314. So a good comeback for Mead to take the win. 
Final score, Cork 19 points, Mead 314. Up next we have Clare vs Loud. Loud opened the scoring with 4 points in the first 22 minutes. Loud finished the half in the lead, 3 points to 6. Clare opened the second half scoring with 2 points, 3 minutes in. And the game finishes, Clare 13 points. Loud 1 9. So a good comeback from Clare to take a one point victory. Final score, Clare 13 points, Loud 1 9. So this is how things stand in round two after last weekend. Derry, Mead, Dublin and Clare on two points. Kildare, Loud, Cork and Limerick on no points. Up next we have Antrim versus Offaly. Offaly opened the scoring with two points in the first minute. Offaly finished the half in the lead, four points to one eight. Offaly opened the second half scoring with a point one minute in. And the game finishes Antrim 12 points. Offaly 2 12. So a win for Offaly over Antrim. Final score. Oh, Antrim 12 points, Offaly 2-12. Up next we have Westmead versus Cavan. Westmead opened the scoring with 2 points in the first 12 minutes. Cavan finished the half in the lead, 3 points to 5. Cavan opened the second half scoring with 4 points, 17 minutes in. And the game finishes Westmead 1 6. Cavan 12 points. So a win for Cavan. Final score Westmead 1 6. Cavan 12 points. So this is how things stand in round 3 after last weekend. For Mana, Offaly, Down, and Cavan on 2 points. Westmead, Tipperary, Antrim and Longford on no points. And next up we have Leitrim versus Waterford. Waterford opened the scoring with a point in the first two minutes. Waterford finished the half in the lead, seven points to eight. Leitrim opened the second half scoring with 6 points, 9 minutes in. And the game finishes Leitrim 318. Waterford 11 points. So good comeback for Leitrim to get the win. Final score Leitrim 318, Waterford 11 points. And our final game of the league. The weekend was Sligo versus Leash. Leash opened the scoring with one point in the first five minutes. Leash finished the half in the lead, one eight to six points. Sligo opened the second half scoring with three points, eighteen minutes in. And the game finishes, Sligo 11 points, Leash 2-11. So Leash with a win over Sligo, final score, Sligo 11 points, Leash 2-11. So this is how things stand in round 4 after last weekend. 
Leitrim and Leash on two points, Carlo, Wickwell, Wexford and London on one point, Sligo and Waterford on no points. So there you have it, those are the results of the football for last weekend. Be sure to stay tuned for both the next predictions for the football and the first predictions for the hurling. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share and I will see you for the next one.